Only on six tonight, a police ice cream truck. You heard that right. Local principal suggested the idea to the Ocala police chief, so he's using donations, and he bought one a few months back. News Six's Eric Von Enken was there when it rolled up to an apartment complex and watched how it is getting results together. The sound of the ice cream truck gets every kid excited. But look who's inside this one. The Ocala Police Department? It is different. And, you know, who doesn't love ice cream? It is way different than anything the Ocala PD, just about any PD for that matter, has ever done. It's not like we had to do it to make an impact on, on the community. It's just one of those, it's definitely a feel-good thing, right? And it, it opens up the doors for kids and parents to talk to police officers and see us as regular people instead of just the guys and girls in blue. Any ice cream of your choice. The deputy chief says police must make an extra effort with kids. It's nice. Like little Lenny, who may have mixed feelings about officers from things they've heard or seen. TV. You've seen, on, you've seen on TV, yeah. I figured that. What does it say when a police officer shows up in an ice cream truck? It's nice. It, 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 it rebuilds the, the um, relationship between the public and Ocala Police Department. Do they need to do that? I think they should. I think it's good everywhere with everything that's going on in the world. I think it is a pretty awesome idea. I think everyone should do it, honestly. They're good-willed people. <laughs> well, that's, that's good to hear um, from today's youth. I'm gonna make you a police The ice cream truck goes anywhere and everywhere there are kids. Any place they can show children and their parents, of course, that they do protect there you go. and serve even ice cream. The truck, the wrap, and then the freezer inside all together cost around $30,000. But the police department tells me that when people started hearing that they wanted to buy this, they started donating. So all of this was paid for entirely through donations. In Ocala, Eric Von Eich and Getting Results Together, News 6. Great idea. It's hard to not like someone who brings you ice cream. Just the sound of that truck pulling up makes you happy, <laughs> right? right? That's yeah. so true.